glasses on. I better find out what I was looking for. Over here. Oh, it's right there. Put some glasses on. I don't even use these. I gotta read. But what I do is think I should make this a little bit bigger. How do I make this a little bit bigger? Let's do it like that. That way I can read it better. Yeah, a little bit bigger. Hey, there we go. Oh, look at that. Don't you just love the modern world? Finish up the rest of my mango juice. Mm. So look, I don't do the Twitter and the, and the, and the Insta and the, and the, and the, and the, and the Facey. I don't do those kind of things. I just do uh, YouTube, you know, up here, you know, I do YouTube. And um, I use this all kind of purposes only. But when I look, but I look at other, you know, posts and stuff like that, you know, I can check on people regularly, like, uh, for instance, B1 Brigade, you know, the uh, Professor Black Truth, those kind of people. I, I check on him once in a while. So I just, he had posted something. And then, uh, you know, but listen to the whole thing. I like I like B1. It's just, it's, I can't explain it, but, you know, B1, who else? Uh, um, um, uh, T-West for another certain kind of thing. Uh, of course, Tariq Nasheed. <laughs> because Tariq is just Tariq. But I don't, I'm not explaining to you. And of course, you know, Yvette and, and Antonio and um, somebody else I listen to, uh, or a bunch of people. Anyway, but those are, say those are in the black lane. That's what I listen to there. But uh, yeah, did something. And I'll, I forgot what it was on, but I I went off topic. I shouldn't say I went off, but I went off topic somewhat in answering it. In, in answering it. Uh, so I'll, I'll list the, the original link. I forgot what he was talking about. Anyway, it goes, uh, and, I, and I wrote you know, in, the, in the comment thing, you know, um, uh, re re reply, whatever it is, I put, um, please allow me this somewhat off topic non sequitur. I just, I just, I like to use those big words because, you know, whether I know what they mean or not, they just sound good. You know? <laughs> I say, da da da, leave us not gloss over agent number 29 of the system of Anglo racist white supremacy. Now, just a little, I'm going to decode this as I go along. Now, when I say 29 to anything, this is number 20, 29, it just means whatever. It could be Agent 1, it could be 1, 2. It doesn't mean anything. It just means Agent 20. Everybody hear me where I say 29, just, just means whatever. You know, it means, it means what it means, okay? That would be Barack Hussein Obama, who doesn't think the NCAA adjustments or the scheduling of a debt due ADOS slash foundational black Americans in the form of reparations is a good idea. Okay, here's the thing. Barack Obama says this whole NCAA, you know, with the, with the football bats, you know, the sports kind of thing, uh, you know, he doesn't know if the, if the athletes, I don't know whatever, I, whatever he was saying didn't make no sense to me when it said, so I immediately went out my brain and I just, you know, because I hear this, you know, anyway. Uh, just, and he put on like the same level, well, uh, reparations, uh, he, he he ain't got nothing to say about that either, right? But yet and still, he can keep on talking, talking, talking. So I have to put that in. Now, here's where the problem, not my problem, but here's my problem. Because let me just say this right up, you know. ADOS, you know, is my political hat. Now, I like Foundation of Black Americans as a, as a, as a, as a label also from Sharif. You know what I mean? I think they're interchangeable, whatever have you. And they, Foundation of Black Americans, I guess because they get that big word, foundational in there, you know, I don't know. Um, it's, it, it sounds it sounds good to me, you know, and 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 well, it just sounds good to me, um, and so uh, so I use them interchangeably, you know, even though politically it's ADOS, that's who I follow, you know, that we're talking about, you know, uh, much respect to ADOS dash or dash dot NYC, those are my peoples, amen. Uh, so 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 to me they're interchangeable, and this boy ain't saying nothing about either one of them, right? So now. I go to, I also follow, for the other one I follow is Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., you know, compensatory concept. And, uh, you know, he says, you know, you shouldn't be calling people names, you know, or if he has a certain code. So my, I live, try to live by that code, right? It's difficult, but I try to live by that code. Now, now this is where it gets kind of shaky, this last little part that I wrote in here about this. I should have stopped right there, but I kept it going. Sounds like that white boy kissing on his eldest daughter has more sway over his African sensibilities than his brother-in-law's. 
natural bona fides in sports and lineage. In other words, Michelle's brother, right? He's he's a sports guy, and he's and you know he's uh, you know total you know uh, uh, foundational black American, uh, you know American descent of the chattel slavery kind of guy, you know. So rather than he let, have a conversation with his with his brother, his wig is kind of stretching. I'm saying he's too busy watching his watching his oldest daughter kiss on some rich white boy, so he's in that camp. I'm just observing. I'm probably wrong, but he ain't got nothing to say about things, but he he, he allowed to do uh, so, but, uh, not allowed, but I mean, you can't do nothing about an 18 year old, oh, somebody's over 18. Actually, after they're over nine years old, you can't do nothing about your children anyway. I'm going to say all that stuff right now. Then here's where it gets really, whew, had to put a zinger in there. I just wish Obama, now let me see, let me, let me preface this by saying something else. No, recently Hillary, Hillary Clinton came out and did whatever she did. And I, I, I wrote a comment in one of the YouTube things that, uh, you know, uh, uh, she finally came out. The Red Queen has finally came out to, to try to get, get back on her throne. She should crawl back under a rock. OK, so I hit Hillary and now let me hit Barack. I just wish Obama would just go on back in the closet when spreading his cheeks. I'm going to leave that hanging the way it is, okay? So anyway, so that's, that was on that, right? Then I wrote another one because since we're doing policy, I guess it's politics right now. Uh, Hot 97, you know, yeah, yeah, it's got Ebro and uh, what, Rosenberg and somebody else, but they the middle team there, you know, they have these breakfast, these breakfast club you know, these these morning talk show things. I think Nick Cannon has a new one now. And, and um, who else? Uh, of course, uh, 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 I don't know if it's morning, but I assume it's morning. Uh, but uh, Geo Hughley has one that's been going on for a while. Anyway, so Andrew Yang, who lives right down the street from wherever Hot 97 you know, records at, you know, popped in because they asked him to pop in. So he popped in. He pops in all over the place. How come he don't pop in with, you know, how come he don't pop in with, with Antonio? I don't know because it was studios being rebuilt, I guess. But you know, when that he got to pop in sometime to talk to talk to Antonio more, you know. Which I understand Antonio's kind of hard, right? Let, let me let me let me let me just go off to, before I get to let me get to someone. Um, uh, who else? Uh, one of my again, one of my ADOS uh, dot NYC uh, people, you know, wrote me and said, you know, I really should listen to the um, to the uh, Byron Allen interview that Breakfast Club did. So I said I wasn't going to because I hear all this stuff to myself. Okay, fine. So I actually listened to the whole thing. Now, the way and we when Antonio come after him, you know, Antonio hard, right? You know, he's there where he said about Charlemagne. I can't, you can't get, well, well, you can't. Don't, don't, just leave these people alone. I treat Charlemagne like I treat Trump. Right? Just leave him alone. He'll self implode. Whatever he's going to do, he's going to do. Right? Just, just don't comment on him. You know where he's coming from. Remember, the Breakfast Club is not really a political thing. It's just a thing with a whole lot of black folks, a whole lot of young black folks, the people that the politicians want to talk to, they, everybody listen to him, you know, including the guest bar and outside. Yeah, he listened to him all the time. So, but you use it for entertainment purposes only. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if you get serious about what they say, then you're going to whack yourself out. So Charlemagne did what he said, you know, being, being Charlemagne, because he's hired as a shock jock anyway. So he's supposed to go off topic and repeat stuff, you know, because, he, he, you know, the question is answered right then, then you know, five minutes later, he's, he's asking the same question or, or, or asking a question that was answered already. That's just sloppy. That's just, he, his brain ain't right. Angela Yee said something, uh, something she said, or, or something like, uh, he, uh, Byron Allen said something, uh, and so they was moving on to something else, and she said, oh, you, so you snitching, right? It's it's a quip, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it wasn't supposed to be taken serious, but, you know, again, don't even beat on that. Okay, fine. Then he went on to one of the things that Byron Allen said, and you have to understand, Byron Allen come from that comedic, come from that, that, that entertainment thing. So he handled all of them right. So we don't need, nobody else, we don't need, I don't need, to, you know, jump on with, with Byron, don't jump on. I have to listen to some other stuff that Byron's saying, you know. So uh, uh, Byron talks about, like, uh, he's going to start an all, uh, all uh, Spanish weather channel, you know, so Spanish people. And so DJ Envy, <laughs> he jumps on there. <laughs> then he said, hope is going to be sexy. You know, it's got to be sexy, whatever he said. But then, and then again, Antonio can beat on him about that. But you have to understand, if you, if you, really, if you look at Venezuela, was it Colombian, Chilean, whatever, uh, TV, 
they all this. In fact, I think there's one people down there. I forget where it was. They they're topless. You know what I mean? And all the women are sexy and da 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 da. So that's what he was referring to. And that's what, so the body went over that. It doesn't matter. So you, you got to take these people with with a with a with a truckload, a three ton truckload of salt. You know, because that's what that's what it is. Now when if by well well. We don't get into that. So I was glad I listened to the thing because there's some other stuff that he said. One of the things he said that I thought was very interesting is that now he was shut out for a long time. He would call and call and call. These people say, yeah, get back, get back. Get back. Then he finally went to what's, uh, one guy, the guy that really got Oprah on the map. And and and, and the guy really sympathized with one because he said, look, I'm having a birthday party at my thing. Come on to my thing in Jersey. He, Byron gets there. Public transportation. My kind of guy. And... Uh, and uh, so the guy basically calls out all these people that, that he would meet on a golf course every week. There's a reason why it used to be, I don't know if you remember this, uh, there used to be, you know, every Wednesday doctors had off because that's where they that's where they would meet and make, make their deals. Golf course. You know, no, 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 all, all these minorities, everybody's locked out of the golf course. You could talk what you want on the links. No, see what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Uh, that's just the way it is, you know? Just like, I mean, let me leave them alone. No, let me not leave them alone. Like in Africa, the Nigerians, they don't go to church because they they, they worship in Jesus, the white Jesus. Right? They go to church to make their deals. That's where the people are, you know? So anyway, let me go back to the thing. Go back to what I was saying. So so he got this, he was at this party and, and, and God made all those people that hadn't been answered, made them say, this is the man, you better, you know, you better deal with him. And so by, for that one white guy that got him in, that, that called out all the rest of us, because it was consequent. If you don't make a deal with him, then I'm, gonna, I'm not going to give you Oprah and you know, Wheel of Fortune and all the rest of the other stuff that the guy was, was on. And these people, the, they had to deal. So that's how Byron, you know, one of the things Byron, so basically he penetrated that circle through somebody in that circle. This is why we can't be dissing people all over the place. You just can't. You don't know what circle they're in. What, 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 how did, what open door they're going to open for you? Just saying, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. says, don't be talking bad about peoples. You know, just don't talk bad about peoples. You know, you never know. Just don't talk bad about peoples. It's a bad form to, to talk, talk bad about peoples. Okay, so I just wanted to throw it out there. That's what I, so that's what I got out of the bar right now, uh, thing, which I wouldn't have got and listened to everybody commenting about it. You know, I wouldn't have got that story, which to me has always been important. You know, how you get I mean, I, I'm going to get into that part. Okay, so on to that, the, the next comment. So Hot 97, you know, with those people. So Yang, who lived down the street, he came by. I said, so, uh, so glad Yang showed up on your show rather than other New York programs of your ilk. Okay. Concerning the Freedom Dividend, it would be more effective if that would be coupled with a debt jubilee. And Yang could do this by first applying the debt jubilee uh, portion of a, uh, to ADOS slash Foundation of Black Americans as the beginning policy of scheduling uh, 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 in scheduling of the debt due in the payment of reparations to this grouping of consistently malign citizens. So what I'm saying is that is the, the freedom dividend great, you know, but let's do this, you know. When you give the freedom dividend to 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 AD or, so for, or as Tariq Nasheed would say, foundational Black Americans, right? Um, uh, Adios being uh, 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 North American descendants of chattel slavery, then you couple that with a debt jubilee. It's an experiment, Andrew Yang. Let me talk to the whole Yang gang. It's an experiment. Let's see how it would work. Let's see how we get the freedom dividend to a group of people and also give them a debt jubilee so they don't have to pay any, they don't have to use that to pay their debts because their debts are, are jubileed. You know, they're, they're, they're like, hey, they used to do that in history. That's, hey, everybody, debt jubilee, you don't have to pay any more debts. Cool, you know? And and then, you know, you have to go on from there, right? So if you have this as a, as a, as a control group, because you have to have a control group. Right now, he's in control group. He gives out a thousand dollars every once in a, all over the country in different places. You know, which is which is cool. You know, but now you can give to a whole grouping of people as part of a reparations package to see how it goes. Then after you know a few years, you see how it goes. You say, hey, well, let's give a debt jubilee to everybody. <laughs> like after three or four years, everybody. Next time we give this debt jubilee, this, this, say the next election cycle. So they say he wants to be, say he gets elected in 2020, then in 2024. Now we're going to give, a couple with your freedom dividend, we're going to give everybody a debt jubilee. Boom. And then, bang. You see how that works? Satisfy everybody. Hey, that's a good idea. Hey, it's a good idea, I think. Oh, one more thing. One more last thing. 
this whole thing about the uh, uh, Harry the Harry Tubman film. You know, this is this is bad form. You know, this is really bad form. I, I brought it up someplace. Uh, I think I talked to you right over the phone on this. And it's really, it's really what was troubling about it. Let me put this. I'm hopped up on Joker these days. I love this movie. Joker is so amazing on so many different levels. You know, see my see, see, see the thing I did with, with Mike Sargent, film critic on on Joker. Right, it's really complete. And some other things. I also comment that on Tariq's thing because Tariq went really Tariq's thing on Joker is really good. Went really in depth. But here's the thing: when Todd Phillips, the director of Joker, and Joaquin Todd here, here and Joaquin Phoenix got together to do this thing, they talked to me. That they really did some research. They really went deep into it. It doesn't seem that Cassie Lemons and this and this Cynthia woman, you know, who's supposed to be playing Joker, it doesn't seem that they went deep into this. They they didn't talk really. What kind of research did they do? They think whatever kind of research they did, it's still a fictional kind of thing. And we, you you so you it's funny. So here you have a a a real life person in the person of Harriet Tubman being researched, and we come up with a fictionalized film, and then you have a fictionalized. Uh, 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 character Joker, and that film is more real. <laughs> that character is more real than the fictionalized. Ca- you understand? What, you see what I'm getting at? It's strange times we're living in, and I, I you know, but hey, uh, that's all I have to say for now. That would be uh, me, T from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect from a reality. Of the A D O S, that would be American descendants of chattel slavery, or as some people know it, foundational Black America. <laughs>